So now let's take a look at modeling Jersey barriers. Uh, we are delivering a couple of types of Jersey barriers, one with and one without headlight screens. And we can also add these as points to the template, place a geometry and assign a profile, just as shown before. And also the element templates need to point to the custom line styles that we use for the Jersey barriers. So in this example, we're going to edit our template drop and over here on the right shoulder, we're going to insert a point and we'll go ahead and add our appropriate constraints to that point. So horizontally from the edge of the shoulder and then we're going to use also a vector offset between the edge of pavement and the edge of the shoulder. Set that to zero and then we're going to assign a new point to that which will automatically pick the feature definition using the point name list. So there's our 3D barrier jersey. We'll say OK to that and then you'll see that modeled both in the 3D model as well as the dynamic cross-section view. Now we go ahead and edit that template one more time. Let's go ahead and change that point over to the Jersey barrier with the headlight screen. So we'll pick our different point, apply that, and then select OK for a reprocess and then you'll see our headlight screen take place then on top of our Jersey barrier. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.